Okay, oh, he's dan- Oh my god, Charles is dancing like crazy. Okay, that's fine. Like, can you see what she's looking at here? This is crazy. This is terrifying. Oh my- Oh, oh! Bella says, careful! <gasps> careful! Welcome to another episode of Royal Twin Adventures. This is actually our final episode of this little mini series and I'm really excited because we have a lot of fun stuff that we're going to be doing. We're going to start by seeing Charles and Fallon and then we are actually going to go see Maxwell for a little bit too and then we're going to go see Bellatrix and then we're probably going to go see Charles again at the end of this as well. So we are here, we're back here at Fallon's house. I, a lot of people pointed out they're like, wow, Fallon's rich in the last episode. So this is actually her great grandfather's farm that her family inherited, which is why it's like a pretty nice place. Her family is still like middle class, I would say, but they're definitely not on the same level as any of the royals or nobles for sure. But Charles is here. He's feeling a little sad. So he was back home for Diana's birthday party. As this episode is coming out, I have just done season two, episode 49 of the royal family. So we've not done episode 50 yet, just in case you're like trying to stay on the same timeline. But he's in Willow Creek because he had to go home for a few days. And while he was there, he was trying to call and text Fallon because as you guys saw in the last episode, they got in a fight. So he's been trying to call her and text her and she won't really answer. So he has just shown up here. And I imagine, I wish they had animations for this, but they don't. They only have poses for it. But I imagine that he was like throwing rocks because this is her bedroom door or her bedroom is right here. So he was throwing rocks at her window. And she was like, what are you doing here? And he was like, well, you wouldn't answer any of my calls or texts. So I wanted to come see you. So here's Fallon. She's coming outside right now. So she's come outside to talk to Charles and I feel like she was just kind of like, what? Like, what do you want? And I think that Charles is now explaining to her, he's like, look, just let me talk. And he's telling her the reason why he didn't tell her he was a prince and just telling her about Araminta, like what happened with her and that whole situation with her like arranged marriage and why they had to break up and then about the drinking problem that he had as well. And just telling her that he was just feeling so smothered by his royal life and coming to you university and meeting Fallon. It was the first time that he felt sane again and down to earth. And he just felt like it was a whole new him that he loved. And he didn't want to ruin that. And he knows that he should have told Fallon. He knows that. And they did get in a pretty big fight. But I feel like he's telling her like, look, I, I should have told you. I'm so sorry. I promise I will never hide anything from you again. And maybe Fallon's telling him like why honesty is so important to her. Like she had maybe had an ex-boyfriend who would lie to her a lot or something like that. And that's why honesty is so important to her in a relationship. Oh my gosh, is she serenading him? That's so cute. Okay. But yeah, just telling him about that situation. So now Charles is understanding. I mean, he should be honest anyway, but like understanding what this meant to her and why she was so upset. But I think Fallon has calmed down. Like they seem to be getting along really well right now. They did get into a pretty big fight. It was kind of like a heat in the moment thing. Like I know it was kind of brutal what she said. Like maybe you should find someone else who understands like the whole royal life thing. I mean, like she doesn't understand that stuff, but they were just both so angry at each other. They were just saying things that they didn't mean. I think Fallon does want to be with him. I think she's nervous about this whole royalty thing, like maybe asking him about that, like, okay, but you got to tell me everything about your family and what I'm supposed to expect. Like we can work this out, but like, I need to know everything. Oh yeah, I had to add her to the family real quick just because it wouldn't let me control what she was doing. But I mean, she's she's back home with her parents for a break and they're not supposed to be in the same household, but yeah, just ignore. But yeah, let's say she is staying here and that she is inviting him inside. So I think they're just gonna like sit and chat and talk about it. Charles is gonna fill her in on his family, basically just tell her everything, telling her that his sister Amira is the queen. I actually think at the end of this episode, maybe Fallon's gonna come meet Charles's family. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So we'll do that at the end of this episode. I'm sure by now Fallon's already told Journey. Oh, I um I had to re-download Journey. So yeah, I guess the game just might have deleted her because she was in my unplayed households. So I had to re-download her. But Journey's back. She was missing in the last episode. But I'm sure Fallon has vented to Journey. So I also think that maybe Fallon had done research on Charles 
after this and like maybe saw an article of like him and Maxwell together and it was like Prince Charles of Wundenberg and Lord Maxwell and she was like what? So she does know that Maxwell is a noble. I'm sure her parents know about this too and are like trying to be like oh Charles is here and may I'm sure he'll get a lot of questions from the family but yeah we're gonna leave them here for now we'll come back to them at the end of this episode. We are going to go see Maxwell real quick so switch control to Maxwell because he's gonna talk to Journey. So in the last episode you guys saw that he had hooked up with this random girl at a party named Robin. A lot of people actually thought they were really cute but the thing is I do think Maxwell was interested in Journey. There just haven't been a thing. Oh god whoa it's really snow. Oh wow okay he's already here. Let's actually invite Journey over to our place. I think she's going to come over. Let's say that she did come over because I think not only does she know that he's a noble but I think she might have heard that he hooked up with a girl at the party and even though they weren't together maybe she's kind of being bitter about it because maybe she does have a crush on Maxwell too but she's never said anything like they've always just kind of been friends. Wow it's really snowing here we should go inside but she is feeling tense and they are arguing a bit right now and yeah I think it's just because he was like why have you not been talking to me I feel like maybe he's been trying to text her but she's been ignoring him and she's just not really telling him the reason why and maybe Maybe he's like, is it because you heard that Charles and I are from a royal and noble family? And she's just like, no. And maybe it slips out that she was a little bit jealous that Maxwell had hooked up with someone else at the party. I kind of feel like Maxwell's like, why do you care? And maybe it slips out that she likes him. I don't know. This is kind of what I'm imagining. Kind of like, you know, how Corn Boy and Farm Boy, if you guys saw that episode of my royal family series, like with their first kiss, how they were arguing and how it just kind of slipped out. So yeah, maybe she admits it that she was a little bit jealous and had feelings for him. Okay, now he's tickling her. And she's like, yeah, maybe he's like, wait, you like me? And was like teasing her about it. And maybe Maxwell's telling that he likes her too. And that he just didn't think that she had any feelings towards him. Like they were just friends. They weren't ever a thing. And he didn't know that Journey liked him back. So yeah, oh, okay, they're cute. But yeah, I mean, him and Journey have known each other since Charles and Fallon first met. And I know we didn't get to see it that much in the series. And I do apologize for that. I really wanted her to be there in the last episode. I was not prepared when she wasn't there. But I kind of just feel like they've all always kind of had a bit of a crush on each other, especially like as of late, they've both realized their feelings for each other, but they didn't really know what to do with it. But it did take a little bit of jealousy for, oh, where are they going? But it did take a little bit of jealousy for Journey and him to finally admit their feel, oh my God, are they having their first kiss? <gasps> they are, oh wait, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it did take a little bit of jealousy for them to finally admit their feelings for each other. So maybe they're gonna start seeing each other. Maybe they're going to like go on an official date, which, Obviously, this is the last episode of this series, so we would have to see that in the Royal Family series. I'll keep you guys updated in like the actual Royal Family series, but I'm sure if it goes well that he's gonna ask Journey to be his girlfriend. They're already really good friends, so they know each other really well. So yeah, again, I'm so sorry. We didn't get to see them that much in this series, but we will see them a bit in the Royal Family series too, which I'm excited for. We're going to go now see Bellatrix and see if she can defeat the mother plant because that is the main goal here. Okay, so since the last episode, so Bellatrix as well, you guys saw in the last episode that we were testing out the vaccine. So we actually administered the vaccine to three Sims and then we had to recruit those Sims. So they're actually kind of just randos. I know we had our two other, who did we have Erica and Brett before? They're all running inside, that's fine. Bellatrix is the one with the key card though. But yeah, we had Brett and Erica before who was kind of on our team. So I guess they got taken off the case because I had to pick the people that we had vaccinated to join. Although they're all just sitting and chilling. I kind of feel like Bellatrix is going to be the one doing all the work here again. But yeah, so this is our final battle. Where has Matt's suit? It says it's not going to be easy either, which is terrifying. So yeah, defeat the source of the infection. It will not be easy. Okay, I've heard this is going to be very scary. I am not looking forward to this. I apologize in advance if I scream too. Okay, let's use the key card. I know that you can like also befriend the plant, but that doesn't seem as interesting, you know? Bellatrix is pretty athletic. She's like a level eight fitness skill. So hopefully that's helpful. If Bellatrix defeats this thing, she better get like a medal for doing this. Okay, oh God, okay. All right, I'm ready to see the thing again. I don't know what our team is gonna do with us here. Maybe they should come down here too. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open the thing again and see this ridiculousness. I cannot, ah, oh my God, okay. This is terrifying. Okay, fight mother plant. Oh, I can fight mother plant with all of them. Oh God, okay. Oh my God, there's a, there's a random person. Are they just keeping like prisoners here or something? Oh gosh, okay, Bellatrix. Oh my gosh, Um, this is terrifying. 
She is, she has people who are possessed down here. She just keeps them in here? Oh my gosh, okay, all right. Oh no, they're also, okay, they're also using the thingy to put the thingy out. I don't know what these things are called. Mega spray, group commands. No, let's do mega spray. Oh God, okay. Ah, okay, we're charging. Oh no, Bellatrix is enraged. Oh God, we're okay. We, we're probably gonna have to take a breather in just a second. Yeah, because our, oh, well, their health is going down, but our infection level is like almost midway. Okay, they are spraying this thing. We're good. We've got his little minions. Oh, oh no. One of our group is getting in a fight with one of the minions. Oh no. <gasps> they can come after us. Okay, Bellatrix is spread. Bellatrix is like taking the lead here. She is in charge of this team. Like, can you see what she's looking at here? This is crazy. This is terrifying. Just imagine looking up at this. Oh my gosh. It's going down though. Their health is going down, but our infection level is going up. Group commands. Take a breather. Take a breather. We've got this. Let's, let's charge again. Do full on mega spray. Spray this thing. You can do this, Bellatrix. You can do it. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, our infection level's going up, but this thing's almost dead. It's almost dead. We've got this. It's, I think it's dead. <gasps> Is it going to collapse? <gasps> yeah, guys, we did it. Bellatrix did it. Oh my, oh, oh, oh God. Bellatrix, careful, <gasps> careful. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Oh, it's dead. Oh, they're celebrating. They brought confetti with them just in case. Oh my God, look at her, look at her. Oh God, she's so cute. She is celebrating. Also, why is she the only one who had to wear her hazmat suit? Reward or congratulations. The vile tyranny of mother has been brought to justice. Your heroic victory has been compensated with a sampling of the mother for you to display. What? I don't want that. Okay, fine. But her aspiration is complete. <gasps> That's, I'll select another one. Well, oh, after this, should we do love? I mean, she already has her soulmate. No, let's do soulmate first. We'll, we'll do that. I've never actually really done the aspiration thing, but yeah, okay. Guys, Bellatrix defeated the thing. The mother is gone. Oh no, don't revive the mother. <gasps> oh God. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're still celebrating. So I do think it's going to take some time for that. Like they're going to have to, you know, investigators come here, make sure everything's good. Make sure this thing is like definitely dead. I think she might still be here for a while. But Bellatrix has saved everyone. If we go into town, like is everyone, like everything's just good now, I think. Let's go, I don't know. Let's go back to camp. Let's, let's go back here and see what's going on. You've defeated the mother plant and returned Strangerville to normal. You can return to the mother plant at any point to reawaken her. Once resurrected, you can have her set the infection level to your desired strangerness. What? This will allow you to replay the story with other families. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're okay. I'm not doing that again. Bellatrix, you, you wanna change out of your hazmat suit? Okay. I mean, they got some ridiculous outfits, but that's fine. It's going to take some time though. I think, I mean, this whole world is gonna have to be rebuilt. We'll see what happens with it. I'm kind of waiting. So a little bit of a spoiler, kind of waiting for the new trip to Egypt mod by Nando to come out because it will replace Strangerville. But like we can say it was like under all of this. I don't know, something like that. I'm just excited for it. Well, it'll still take some time. You guys can follow my Royal Family series and see what we do with this. But she's save Strangerville and everybody. Bellatrix is awesome. Okay, well, let's say goodbye to our little camp here. Bellatrix will hang out here for a bit, but this will be the last time we see it in the series since it's the last episode. All right, so we are now at the Windenburg Palace and we are having having Fallon meet Charles's whole family for the first time. So it's just, so it's Jabari, Amira, Alice May, and Cedric, because obviously it's at the Winterberg Palace. And then it's his brother, Kellen, and Diana, and his mom, Ava. I'm sure that like Kellen wanted to invite Megan and William, and that Diana wanted to invite Abraham, but maybe Charles just asked if it could be mostly just like the immediate family, just because he doesn't want to overwhelm Fallon. So Fallon's going in. So she's meeting everyone for the first time. And that Charles, you should actually probably be here with Fallon because I'm sure she's really nervous. I'm sure Charles like filled her in on everyone and just told her about like, because obviously Bellatrix couldn't be here. So I'm sure he told her all about Bellatrix. I'm sure Fallon thinks that Bellatrix sounds so cool and cannot wait to meet her. But yeah, I know that Charles probably filled her in on the rest of his family too and just what they're like and what to expect. Oh, it does look like Lord William is here. Maybe because Megan wanted to go see her sister Nea just to like help her through things. Maybe she did ask if William could come. And then we do have a mirror here. So Fallon's about to meet the Queen of Windenburg for the first time. I think that's what she's very nervous about. About. But yeah, she's just meeting the whole family, which is really cool. She should probably introduce herself to the kids as well. Okay, 
She's talking to Amira for the first time. We'll see if they get along. Amira's feeling very confident. She seems to like her. Doesn't Fallon look so cute too? I love this dress on her. She looks adorable. Also her and Charles are matching, which is so cute. Actually, Fallon seems to be talking up a storm. She seems to be getting along with Amira really well. But okay, I'm going to have Charles call everyone to the meal. Now, Fallon and Charles, they'd only been dating for like, I don't know, what, a month or something like that before they got into the fight and like got back together. So they haven't been dating for that long, but I think Charles really, likes her. She's really down to earth and he loves that. He loves being goofy with her. I feel like they're goofy with each other a lot. Oh my god, Fallon and Diana. Oh, they were still talking. That's so cute. Oh, did she meet Kellen yet too? She has to meet Kellen. But she seems to be getting along with the family well. I feel like she was very nervous before all this. But I do think Charles did a good job before they came here to fill her in on protocol and the whole family and what to expect. Like he tried to be as detailed as possible just to make up for like what he did. He wanted to make sure he didn't miss a single detail. And the family seems to get along with her really well. I really don't think they care that she's a commoner whatsoever. They also know that she's studying and she's getting her communications degree. So her and Charles will continue to go to university. They will continue dating and whatever happens with them, we will see in our Royal Family series. I don't know why Kellen is sitting way over here when the rest of the family is over here, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm super excited for them. I think this is a great way to end this series, especially since we will get to see them more in our main Royal Family series. I'm sure they'll like if they continue dating through uni, Charles might propose to her when they graduate. He does like her a lot. They just haven't been dating for that long. So that's why he's not like, yes, let me propose to you right now. But yeah, okay guys. Well, that's the end of our Royal Twin Adventures mini series. We're gonna end our last episode here. I hope you enjoyed this mini series. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, we'll continue the rest of this in our main Royal Family series. Melichick just needs to wrap up things in Stranger Ville, but she will be getting to go home soon, which is amazing. She defeated the mother plan. She saved Strangerville, which is awesome. Charles and Fallon made up. She now knows about his royal life and they're going to continue dating and continue to go to university. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.